here's a new app that I learned about from Lori Chikevich this week, and I am really impressed with this app. Um, it's used on the iPads. It does work on um, the iPad 2s and above. The only thing is it does require a student email address, so probably for like our fourth graders and above. Um, for teachers that would like to still do something like this, you can probably use the Seesaw app for lower elementary. But this app is a Q&A platform for educators to inspire learning, which starts with questions. And again, going back to the reason for teaching, we want students to want to learn. Well, this helps students to respond with, uh, whoops, sorry, with like videos. Um, so they can respond with videos, with questions, or with their thoughts. Um, they can also pose questions to you. Um, teachers can respond back to those questions. And then you can also take your student on a journey, which is continuing to investigate something. Um, in general, I thought this was a fantastic app. This might be something good as the year's rounding out. Maybe you try it out with your students. Um, students will use the recap app and sign in as a student. You as a teacher will go to um, app.letsrecap.com or you can just say the recap app and I was able to find it in Google. But you want to sign in as a teacher and then I just signed in with my Google account. And then you can create a class from there. And then students would join, once they've got an account, they would join your class with a PIN. Uh, let me know if you have any questions on this, but this can save you a lot of time. And you're going to find out more questions that your students have, or even just more reflections of what your students have on the learning. Um, this will t definitely help take your students deeper into the cr critical thinking.